Hello, beloved. Bless be the name of the Lord. He is good. His mercies endure forever. We have a forever merciful God. And we trust Him. Hallelujah. Yes, we are bringing down on the ground, on the earth, everything that He has provision for us in heaven, on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> and this building of this communication from heaven to earth, it's very important and it's possible. Hallelujah. This is how our Lord Jesus walked on this earth. We know it. He brought everything. He said, I do everything I see the Father doing. I speak what he, I hear Him talking. I'm absolutely manifesting on earth everything from the heaven. I am in the bosom of my Father. I'm one with my Father. And I'm bringing down through my soul, through this body. You prepare the body for me. Through the body of Jesus, I'm bringing everything of heaven. And wherever I am, heaven walks through me. Hallelujah. It's possible. <clears throat> so we, we're talking about uh, the keys that are coming down from the Lord. Right? We um, talked about the will of God, the command of the Father, which is eternal life. We start to talk about the overcoming. Overcoming is something very special. Okay? And I express to you, I explain something that's beyond just warfare and winning a victory. Overcomers. It's something bigger than that. I explain to you in that verse where it says that Jesus was obedient to death and said even death on the cross. He went more. Any type of death would have been sufficient. But he wanted to be the one that blesses us the most. That's an overcomer. <clears throat> we talked about the, um, the drink offer, offering poured. But today I want to talk to you something that when the Lord showed that to me, it did something so deep inside regarding overcoming. He took me to the book of Revelation, chapter 5. <clears throat> and took me into that um, picture, living scenery. Let me read to you. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a book, written inside and on the back, sealed up with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to break its seals? <clears throat> and listen to this. No one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the book or look into it. No one? Then I began to weep greatly because no one was found worthy to open the book or to look into it.
And one of the elders said to me, Stop weeping. Behold, the lion that is from the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has overcome so as to open the book and its seven seals. No one was able to open the book. <clears throat> Do you think the worthiness it's something to do with sin, unrighteousness? Are you saying that everyone in heaven had some hidden sin that they didn't confess and that made them unworthy? No. That's pure. Heaven is pure, absolutely. There is nothing that anyone did wrong. So worthiness has nothing to do with right or wrong. All the heaven was not wrong. <clears throat> See, every time I used to read this. I would go in the sin consciousness and think, Oh, the Lord, please make me worthy. Please make me worthy. The worthiness in heaven, it's not given by the position or the history of doing right or wrong, it's not coming from the tree of knowledge. They don't eat of the tree. Our religious mind ate so much of the tree that the moment we think worthy, we think, what did they do wrong today? What did they think? What did they look at? <clears throat> Worthiness in heaven has to do with overcoming. This is it. No one was worthy because only one has overcome. You understand the importance of that key? of overcoming opens so many doors. In this case, it opened the book and broke the seals. The overcoming, that's the key. Stop weeping. Behold the, li Behold, the lion that is from the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has overcome so as to open the book has overcome <laughs> and I saw between the throne the four living creatures and the elders a lamb standing as if slain having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. He took the book, the Lamb. Wow! Hallelujah! I can see an eternity, a session for eternity of worship, just for that moment. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the Lamb. He has overcome. Wow. <clears throat> so, these are some truths that I received, I understand. When I look at this overcoming topic, <clears throat> 
first of all, how, how do I describe better this overcoming? I am an overcomer. You are an overcomer. What makes us an overcomer? So first of all, God is never taken by surprise reacting to evil. He already prepared the solution. That's overcoming. <clears throat> if you get an attack and you start praying and you reject the attack, that's defeating the enemy. It's not overcoming. <laughs> overcoming is when you are absolutely prepared before the enemy even comes close. He says that's no reason to mess with this guy, this son. No reason. <laughs> it's a lost cause for the enemy. <clears throat> that's overcoming. Number two, the body of Jesus and the blood was, were prepared before the foundation of the world when the Lamb was slain. Before the foundation of the world, this is exactly what He was doing. He had everything prepared so death had no chance. The devil had no chance. <laughs> the devil is just deceiving himself. He's delusional. There's no way to defeat God. There's no way he can do that. This, it's impossible. <clears throat> that means that Predestined position in God already gives us the authority. Already. Jesus was God. One with God. The Lamb was slain before the creation. But the manifestation on the earth of the blood and the body creates overcomers <clears throat> yes we are already made to win yes absolutely because we are born of him we won before the foundation of the world in Christ but to make the overcomers you have to touch the ground in obedience to the Father with the blood in the body. That is a sign of overcomer. You're getting it. It's exciting. You are getting it. That's why it says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony, the blood and the body. The Word became flesh, the blood and the Word. This is what the Eternal Spirit got to manifest to make overcomers through us. We are overcomers, the blood and the body. First John 5. <clears throat> it says, verse 6, This is He who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who bears witness, because Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree as one. And yes, Revelation 12, it tells us we overcame by the blood of the Lamb, the word of the testimony, and we don't 
love our lives until death. You know, the word there for lives, it's psyche. It's a soul life. <clears throat> that means we are ready to lay down in submission, in obedience of our soul life. So the Spirit of God through us can overcome. The overcomers have a revelation of the blood, the revelation of the body of Christ. And they also are ready <laughs> to lay down their lives, their soul lives. So the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, This is overcoming. It's not how smart we are. It's not how well we talk about things. It's about Him, the purity, the eternity, the power of existence of the One, the Spirit of God has overcome.